Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I'm back this week to talk all things Sewing Bee. It's the semi-finals, it's the penultimate episode. Um, before I get going, I'm just going to let you know that this is actually going to be the last one of these. I'm not going to be able to do next week because unfortunately I have to go and have an operation next Wednesday, which is a bit annoying. Um, and it means that I am not going to be able to film a video. I thought I might be able to, but I think I probably just have to be realistic and not do it. So I'm really sorry this is going to be the last one. Um, we will try and put some stuff up on Instagram. So if you really wanted to know the patterns, we will try and put them up there. But other than that, that is not going to be a video. I'm sorry. But um, this week's one was, I thought was quite good. So the theme was like utilitarian clothing, um, kind of workwear stuff, which I really like. And the first challenge they had was making a men's um, trench coat in four hours what even when they were talking about it they were saying like they were like 35 pattern pieces can you imagine cutting that out and sewing that in that amount of time i thought it was ridiculous anyway they did really fantastically i mean i cannot believe can you imagine doing buttonholes under a time pressure it makes me feel quite stressed just thinking about it anyway um there are two really great patterns so i've got a men's pattern and a women's pattern so men's pattern, the Simplicity 9389, this looks quite trendy in the picture, but if you actually have a look at the line drawing, you can see it's absolutely classic, 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 classic. It's got a storm flap. It's got the kind of flat, um, the kind of storm flap on the back as well. Um, belt, all the kind of really nice features that you'd expect on a traditional um, trench coat. So that one is there if you wanted to tackle a men's one. If you thought actually I'd quite like to make a women's one, um, the Named Isla trench coat is fantastic. Um, it's from Named Clothing, it's been around for such a long time. I think it's kind of the one that everyone goes to if they want to make a trench coat because it's just great. And um, it's definitely worth going and having a look at. Again, it's got all the kind of details that you'd hope. It's got the little storm flaps. They don't button on on the women's version. Um, but they, they're kind of a bit more elegant um, and but they have all the details that you'd expect on this so and it's double breasted etc etc all the buttons I mean you can get really good buttonholes with this pattern. So the second sort of bananas challenge where they are upcycling they were given a load of items that were, you would use to sort of clean your house so there were mops, um, scourers, rubber gloves, um, those sort of tabards that you could, um, I always remember our, our cleaning ladies at school used to wear them, sort of tabards that you put over and pop it at the side. And what else was that? Lots of other stuff. So they had to make outfits out of those and actually did really interesting things. They were, they were quite fun. Then the last challenge was making a boiler suit, which I thought was quite tricky. Um, in fact, it was just a tricky week, but I suppose it is the semi-finals. So they all had to pick a boiler suit. It was made for, they were women's boiler suits. And um, I thought they all did a really good job. So I think we've got, I think we've actually got most of these, apart from Asthma, who is our little like trickster each week that we can never get. Um, so the first person is Tony. He, so he crucially did a men's pattern that he wanted to put on a woman um which i thought was quite a bold move i'm pretty sure that he used the simplicity 8615 um the reason that i think it's that is because there are so many he put loads of pockets on and he had these kind of big pockets that went over the waistband um which this pattern does have it had a zip down the front which his had so I'm pretty sure that this one is right and it's such a cute pattern actually if you haven't seen it before I really love it there's also a dungaree version um but I'm pretty sure that he used this and he I thought this was really interesting in terms of fabrication because he made it in camo and then he had these sort of pops of neon for the pockets um I thought he did a really great job um I I I found the fit side of this quite stressful for all of them because Esme was really honest and kind of like pulling the trousers and saying things weren't fitting. But I thought he did a good job. So next up we've got Vicky. I'm pretty, this one actually took us quite a long time to find. I'm pretty sure that she used the Homer and Howells Lennox spoiler suit. Um, 
The thing that makes me think it was that is that up to the waistband it had a zip and then from the waistband up it was buttoned and that she did poppers and this this variation has that um, and an inbuilt waistband so she made hers in a beautiful sort of orangey rusty colour um, and she was using a curved model which I thought was um, really brave in terms of like she when she was explaining what she'd done it was quite I mean, it was amazing. She'd done like a full bust adjustment. She'd changed all the curve on the crotch and like done loads and loads of fitting, but she just had a bit of a bad run. And I just felt really sorry for her because it could, it was like so close to being great. And yeah, unfortunately it was not her week, but this pattern is really nice if you haven't seen it. So it's definitely worth going and having a look at. Cause I think, I think I quite like it is it's kind of fitted around the top and then the, the legs are quite loose but it still feels very boiler suity. Um, and the other thing that made me think it was this is that there was a panel of elastic around the back, um, which she had added in as well. So that one, we were pretty sure. Mia was absolutely was so easy this week. It was lovely because you could just, I don't know if anyone else noticed, you could see her pattern pieces in the background about five times. And um, she used the Closet Core Blanca Flight shoot Suit. So I know that this one is right. Um, it had the zip down the front. It was, I mean, it's such a lovely pattern. And she uses really great print. It was kind of a tealy, pinky um, print, which I thought worked really well, made it feel like really fun. Um, if you haven't come across the Blanco flight suit yet, it's such a nice pattern if you're looking for this sort of boiler suit. Um, it feels like boiler suity but a bit more elegant than a traditional one I really I think it's such a lovely pattern so do go and have a look last is Asma who I thought what she did was so clever um as usual we struggled a bit with the pattern because she always the little she, she always I'm, I don't know whether she drafts her own she definitely traces them off um anyway so hers was made in a black Kind of slightly sparkly um, fabric which I thought was really nice because it made it automatically feel quite dressy. Zip up the front um, and was it zip up the front? Yes it had a zip up the front and it had these little pockets on the breast that she put these like proper you know the clips that you would get on a rucksack put those over and had clips a roll up sleeve with clips as well, which I thought was really clever and added like kind of interesting details. It was really, they were really, I mean, it was such a lovely pattern. I don't think this is perfect because the front is buttoned, not zipped, but the Liberty Zadie boiler felt quite similar in terms of the shaping, the pocket details, um, and the shape of the leg, I thought felt quite similar, but obviously it's got a zip down the front. So I'm not sure which pattern she used. We did look for quite a long time and there aren't actually a huge range of um, boiler suit patterns. So this would be a good option. And if anyone knows, I just really want to know, does she, does she draft her own patterns? That's my like big takeaway from this season. I just want to know. Anyway, that is it from me. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed these over the last or do we on nine or 10 weeks? Um, we've absolutely loved doing them. And I'm really sorry about next week. It's just something that I can't, it's just life, isn't it? This annoying thing that I can't get out of. Anyway, um, I will be back next year for the next sewing. We have a lovely weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>